Dear friends, the empty tomb that is the quintessential Easter story. Female and later male disciples going or even running to tomb and finding the stone rolled away and tomb empty and hearing from angels about resurrection. Within the Gospels, in their narratives, in their storylines, that is the first time we hear about the resurrection of Jesus. And it absolutely makes sense. If resurrection, then we start with an empty tomb. First thing should come first. But they hardly ever do. Theologians have known for centuries that the empty tomb story was quite late arrival to Easter narratives. First, after Jesus' horrific death, disciples started meeting with him again, and they were empowered by him. They were transformed by him. Their view of the world completely changed. They did not have language to speak about it first. Even the use of the word resurrection was not automatic and instant. It took some time to settle. By the time Apostle Paul wrote to Corinthians around the year 50, the word resurrection was already established. But Paul still did not know about the empty tomb. The empty tomb appeared for the first time about a generation later in the Gospel of Mark and quickly became the emblematic story of the resurrection as highly evocative and powerful image. And so the empty tomb is the opening part of the Easter storyline, but the latest, youngest part of the Easter message. And that is something you might not know about the Bible and our Easter faith. And on this Easter Sunday, in our worship, we will uh, listen to this powerful and radical message of the empty tomb. Join us if you can.